Hello YouTubers, it's AquaponicsTube.com here. It's been a while since I made a, a video about my system. In fact, my last video was at the beginning of last winter, uh, in October. So, I uh, started planning and getting things ready, so I thought I'd make a quick update uh, what's going on this spring. Uh, I made a few changes, not much, but I'll show you what we got going on here. Um, one of the first things I did was I took the strawberries that were on this side and after cleaning up the gravel uh, and start you know cleaning it up making it fresh for the new season I moved my strawberries over here and they've been over here since March and they're starting to produce now as you can see and then uh, uh, last week oh I don't know what day it was it was probably Saturday I think maybe it was Friday I planted this side I just planted in my my usual green beans that you know I had over there on that side last year I put them in here and as you can see they're already up starting to to grow they come up quick once the water temperature gets up and uh, then down along the sides down along the sides here I think you can see one right there um, I planted the there's one over there in the corner I planted the lemon cucumbers for my wife uh, I didn't start any plants. Well, I did. I I did start some lemon cucumbers in the house, but they started and sprouted, and then they died off. I think I left them out one night. It was a little bit cold in April. They didn't make it. But uh, so I just shortcutted it and planted it here in the bed, and it seems like it's going to be okay. So we'll see how that works. It'll be the first time I did it that way, from seeds in the bed on the lemon cucumbers. And then uh, over here on this side along the edge I did the same thing and they were up first you can see one right there and there's another one there and there's another one there I think I planted six seeds on this side if I just get half that that's plenty uh, they produce really good so uh, the fish wintered fine uh, I kept the system running all winter so that I didn't have any problems with freezing or anything and uh, They've gotten a little bit bigger. Let's see. And I usually don't feed them this late in the morning, so oh, there they are. Yeah, they're going to come up anyways. But they're doing good. I made some changes on my uh, system as far as the uh, the pump and where the water enters the beds at. Um, I moved it from the center. It was it was right here in the center, going across, and I moved it over to that wall. And I'll show you why. Um, I have a return line back. I'll turn it on in a minute after they're done eating. I have a return line back because my pump's a, a pretty big pump and it pumps a lot of water. And I just happened to shut it down. If you remember up on the top, I was shutting it down with valves. Well, I just opened that up. I put one valve here and I let most, uh, probably 85% of the water return back to the tank. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. 85% uh, of the water returned back to the tank and then I can control the top flow by this valve right here shutting it and closing it and then uh, another thing I did an add-on feature I'll show you here is um, I put a faucet on the system out here so that if I'm cleaning the tank you know I agitate it and get it all stirred up I can take and change the water out but I just don't dump this water on the ground I can take this water and put a hose on it and take it over there and water my garden beds As you can see I'm just starting to get them planted I always plant in May because we get frost here and we had a frost about I think the last frost we had was the 18th of April so I could have planted a little bit earlier but but you never know I mean we could even still have one you never know with California so anyways that's uh what i've got going i'll um i'll continue to make videos through the summer and uh let you know how things are going but uh this system's worked pretty good it produces all right i was thinking about expanding it but i really haven't had the time to make another one so i just keep things the way they are Let's see i'll show you here how, how it works see, that's uh a little giant pump is pumping most of the water up and then back into the tank and then 
the flow is controlled right there. It's a little minor. This, um, these beds, they seem to work better dumping the water in the edge and in the center. I had some plants on that far side not getting as much water last year. It didn't seem to do as well, but it seems to be doing better now. So, anyways. So that's it for what's going on. And uh, hopefully this will keep growing. i got to finish hanging my plants up there. I like to put flowers up there. And, and of course, the uh, cucumbers will grow up this arbor and provide some shade a little later in the year. So if this is uh, the first time you visited my channel or my website aquaponicstube.com and you don't know much about aquaponics basically um, I guess you could go back and watch some of my older videos I can give you a quick rundown. Uh, these are four foot by four foot beds one foot deep and I fill them with pea gravel. There's other stuff you can use ceramic pellets and stuff that's but it's more money. I just went with a pea gravel and I have two beds and it's about two-thirds of a yard to fill these two beds up. I had about a third of a yard left and my tank is a cattle tank. It's a 220 gallon cattle tank. So I pump about just a little less than 100 gallons out of here up into these beds and it, it floods the bed and then we have what's called a bell siphon which basically is just a stand pipe on the drain so when the water gets all the way full it starts going down the drain and because this bell is placed over it it causes a siphon like siphoning gas out of a car and once that siphon starts the water in the bed is returned back to the tank so it's continually filling and draining, filling and draining on both sides. You'll see it take off here in a minute. And the, th uh, w the reason why that works is because in the gravel, just like in a fish aquarium, bacteria get started in the gravel. There's two kinds of bacteria. So the, the ammonia from the fish that's in the fish water and in the pond are consumed by the bacteria in the gravel beds. And they their waste is the nutrients that the plants can eat so nitrates and things like that and the only problem I've had with this system is being a little bit um, depleted on iron and when things are depleted on iron um, you'll start getting a little yellow leaf and so I figured out how to, you know about once a month I add chelated iron to the water and it doesn't hurt the fish at all so you have a cycle um, of course uh, in a perfect world uh, person would raise fish that were edible so that you could have edible fish and produce all in a closed system but I just have uh, koi just because I like them and the price was right when I got them it's hard to believe that this is my third season so uh, this will be my third summer with this setup so that's uh, basically it in a nutshell if you um, if you want to learn more about aquaponics I've saved a lot of videos on on my web page and that uh, of other people who you know have bigger operations than what I have and a lot more technical this is just a little backyard thing to, to enjoy so watch some of those videos and and maybe uh, set one up for yourself uh, it's really enjoyable and they produce pretty good um, I don't think the strawberries I, I raise a lot of strawberries I don't think they have the flavor I mean they taste good but I don't think they have the flavor that's I get out of the ones in the ground, um, but it might be just uh, the species of strawberry I'm using too, I don't know. But I get plenty of them, so we're eating them all the time. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and uh, get out there and practice your green thumb and give this a try. Catch you later.